Hey, welcome back everyone. Toysh is here and I got a little bit of a news update for you. I'm over in New York City, the Big Ample, where the Ninja Turtles live. Of course, we're taking a look at the new Playmates Toys TMNT Mutant Mayhem toy line featuring the Talkin' Ninja Shouts Turtles. These are electronic figures. They're going to run you about 15 bucks. And I really do think that they kind of captured the CGI look of the new Turtle cartoon. It may not have all the paint that you want, but it's got the fun, it's got the looks, it's got the expression, and a not too bad a price point. The 12-inch Turtles, though, I think are one of the standouts. They look great. Again, capturing that very angular, moving CGI that the Turtles make up. Leonardo, I think, looking the best out of all of them. I think he's the most Ninja Turtle-esque. Donatello down here being one of the talking turtles. He's a little bit bigger to kind of house the electronics within him. But then you also have the new vehicles, and these are going to run you about 25 bucks. Each one will come with a figure. So you have this being the battle cycle that will come with Raphael. It looks pretty good, very evocative of the old school Playmates Ninja Turtle scooter, right, with the little sidecar right there. The big one I think everyone's going to want is, of course, the new party wagon. You got Leonardo hanging off the back right there. Really incorporates two of the old school Playmate toys. You got the pizza thrower and, of course, the party wagon. The party wagon being just an iconic toy for the Ninja Turtle franchise. Pat over here is going to demonstrate. It's electronic. It can shoot eight pizzas. Nothing that's too crazy, not going to take it on the eyes or anything else like that. I'll even get in front of it just to kind of show you. Oh, my God. No. <laughs> Very cool. I love that. So eight pizzas there. That's going to run you about 40 bucks for the party wagon. I like how seamless it is. It all kind of just goes back inside. You push the top right here for this little pizza, and it'll just simply launch right out. It's kind of a carry case, too. You can fit all four turtles. You can put Splinter. You can probably get up to six or seven for as far as the carry case kind of thing goes but I love that you can just see all the turtles having fun doing their thing I think kids are going to dig that and then you have the other vehicle which comes with Leonardo this one is called the kick cycle and as you can see I'll have Pat demonstrate for us uh, in just a second but uh, yeah there you go it's uh, it kind of push the pizza on the back either which way and Leonardo will kick flip out and uh, kick one of the mutants in the face, right? So that's pretty cool. Again, the vehicles with the figures are 25. Mikey, I think he looks pretty good. I know a lot of people have said, oh, his eyes are too far. I, I like him, Mikey. There's something just classic about Michelangelo. And just to kind of show you what he does. Yeah, I kind of dig that, especially since it's the voice of the actual character, the guy, the voice actor doing it. Again, the 12-inch figures do look great. I think those are definitely a highlight, a standout. Would look good in a giant TMNT collection, no doubt. But again, much like the party wagon, the playset, the sewer layer is going to be top-notch, especially as a display piece. At 90 bucks, it's going to clock in. It's got all kinds of old-school elements to it. It's got a big zip line, so you can have Leonardo going down, kick, kick flip. He, that's all Leonardo does in this toy line, just kick flips everybody. But as you can see, just incorporates a lot of that old-school action and stuff we even just did as a kid, fixing zip lines and whatever else. Comes with a barbell set for Raphael, very evocative of the personality of Raphael, which I totally dig. If you push down on the X right there, as uh, as Pat's going to show you, it, it will just kind of flip him over. We're going to do it. Uh, these are kind of brittle. You know? These are just display pieces at this point, but just keep that in mind. It'll flip him up. And then you have Ooze, right? I'll get to that in just a second, but I love that you have the weapons rack right here. I think that that's pretty cool, and you also got a punching bag, but this is top-notch. So you have this Ooze sphere at the top. It's got a hole in the middle. All the Ooze can transfer down there and goop who's ever at the bottom. Donatello right here on his little periscope, very evocative of, again, the 87 cartoon or just his lair. He's always got machines going wild. Then you have the top layer right here with the train tracks and everything else. You've got an old-school payphone, which is totally awesome, right? The back is all cardboard. Michelangelo can flip in, kick the doors out. We didn't get a look at the back just yet, and if you're wondering if some of the blacked-out stuff at the top, why, right? Uh, those will be things coming soon that they can show off. Things that have to do with other mutants in the movie. But I like right here, this will go down the ladder and you can park the party wagon right there. So the whole thing is incorporated really nicely. Again, top secret confidential. I can't wait to see the designs. Can't wait for you guys to see the designs of the mutants as well. I think they're gonna look pretty cool. I wanna see 
Ray Filet, right? And then to kind of finalize it, we'll be getting some role play items as well. You got masks, you got all the Ninja Turtle weapons. They're all push button activated, kind of sort of what you see in the trailer when they do those little vignettes showing off each of the weapons. And uh, I think that kids are really going to gravitate towards that. It's exactly like Star Wars with lightsabers, right? You got to have the Ninja Turtle weapons that you can mess with. And I love the backdrop. It's an excellent setup. Had a great time at the play date. So thank you everyone for having me. Thank you to Playmates for walking me around the booth and showing you guys all this awesome action. Please do be sure to credit me if you decide to repost. Thank you to everyone for watching. I will have more reveals coming up, but I'll talk to you guys all soon. Adios.